What have we here? The cavalry looks like. I appreciate the help, but I had it under control. Tagasar Chais embarks prize war perin swase ik bus karadida. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. You would be wise to follow her lead. Of course, my lord. Sorry. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? Palladius has something I need. And if helping you will get it for me, then yes. Good, because it makes me sick to think Palladius is out there while I'm cooped up in this rat hole. Palladius built his empire on the backs of the poor. Said he'd save them from their miserable lives. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies, but you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius' legs out from under him. How do I win the love of these poor, downtrodden souls? What Palladius did was find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the Crates, named after the Crate Dragon on Tatooine. Their leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. And when another gang rises to take the crate's place? You're right. Taking out the crates wins you followers only until the next gang rises up. But there may be another way. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. What exactly does this entail? The cure to the Rot is owned by Titus Neutronics. You'll have to steal it from their warehouse, then distribute it. In this case, I'd rather be loved than feared. Good, but be careful. The warehouse is heavily guarded, but if you can steal the cure and distribute it in the Corellian sector, you'll own the lower classes. What have we here? The cavalry looks like. I appreciate the help, but I had it under control. Tagasar Chais embarks prize war perin swase ik bus karadida. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. You would be wise to follow her lead. Of course, my lord. Sorry. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? Palladius has something I need. And if helping you will get it for me, then yes. Good, because it makes me sick to think Palladius is out there while I'm cooped up in this rat hole. Palladius built his empire on the backs of the poor. Said he'd save them from their miserable lives. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies, but you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius' legs out from under him. How do I win the love of these poor, downtrodden souls? What Palladius did was find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the Crates, named after the Crate Dragon on Tatooine. Their leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. And when another gang rises to take the crate's place? You're right. Taking out the crates wins you followers only until the next gang rises up. But there may be another way. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. What exactly does this entail? The cure to the Rot is owned by Titus Neutronics. You'll have to steal it from their warehouse, then distribute it. In this case, I'd rather be loved than feared. Good, but be careful. The warehouse is heavily guarded, but if you can steal the cure and distribute it in the Corellian sector, you'll own the lower classes. Kalamkara, Ninja Oramag Young Migik. 
manuk maraga na dyan. Kinamabam, yakmana na. There's something off about that. Memua pamgwana. Kumia yang mem gamba paka. Umnuk inu memnu. Amka kam mem herolak palak. Kam inu memnu. Naja naya amka mimik meraka. Who's responsible for this? Jukaki mem paninu. Amka bina pek memnu kimgam. Mem amak kupka. Kramanik, umnu kiga mayamak. How much are you being paid? Umo gala apayang. Dela ma ini amka amga. Nulilak apajam kamgam. Amka nemnang. Ampa nemnang memua inok. I wanted, I wanted to apologize for Destris earlier. He was out of line. No need to apologize. And no need to call me Lord. I confess, I was worried when Destris said we were getting the help of the Sith. I thought you'd be like Palladius. Self-obsessed and cruel, but no, you're, you're kind. That really depends on my mood. I, I can only go off what I've seen. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius' cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. You've done well. Now, tell me about this place. The place is called the Strell House, for a charity worker named Dagan Strell. The people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. A well-known location can't hurt either. I'd considered that as well. It's both well-known and accessible. Unaguta tan kwekuta. Ikwiktuk bamba? I don't believe we've met. Noto tichu, dajaska. Nisubo gobae. Pombo get dusta badawanga? Something Wampa. La Hagua Kilia Jakoska. Paguta Pago. I'll send your body back to your master in pieces. Tuta Ulya. Nucha. Kechawa Joto do dead bita. Your bana pihota, Mindia. That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius's right hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the Great Healer after your little trick curing the rot. Look what I found outside. My lord, for helping to cure our families and neighbors of the rot, we humbly present you with this gift. Keep your gift, and use it to better your lives. Thank you, my lord. You are most generous. Thank you. Isn't this great? Cure one lousy disease and you already got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. He cannot be allowed to continue. This is our chance. You just go in, make a big show, and boom. It's gonna take more than a show, Destris. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait, I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself, make a groundquake? What on Nar Shaddaa is a groundquake? You know, when the ground shakes underneath you. They're pretty rare, so it'd be a big deal. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. 
Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. I can't wait to see the look on Palladius's face. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector. Not far from Meridian Hall, where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. You kaki mem paninu, am kabina pek mem no kimgam. Kampul jaki nanu, ki nama am kabina wam wam karak. Kikuna mo, uban chone alipa, istin koto. Raka kem yu am kam nem nu, nam gan bak um nok ki jak. Lapo ram am ka, mam ni nikad, nag naya mam ni kam gam. I need to create a ground quake. Um nuk inu mem nu, am ka kam mem perolak palak. Mem mua pem guana, kumi a yang mem gamba paka. Bomo gala apayang. Nila ma ini ang ka amgap. What does taking bribes from a gangster get you? Promoted? Naya nam ram kam. Kala am ka mani mani. Libik bak. Kam perim ganam. Bagi yang. Manik hikup bukam. Mem yu ka hal hal krama. Nik nur ga nalalu mem nurak. I'm sure they'll understand. You kaki mem paninu, am kabina pek mem no kimgam. Um nuk inu mem no, am kakam mem perolak palak. Yan perlu am ka, kalami naya kira na bua ripo. I am most grateful. Kam perim ganam. Bagi yang manik hikup bukam. There is only one law for the weak as well as the strong, and that is power. For too long, the weak of Nar Shaddaa have grown soft in the luxury of their towers, while the strong have wallowed in chains. But I tell you, united, there is no law that can stop you. Take back. What is yours? Yeah! Never a truer word spoken, my friend. There are those who would tell you lies, who spread rumors and false promises. Already some among you are lost, having chosen the path of weakness. But you must shun this false messenger. The weak fear your growing strength, and have sent her to break it. I come on my own power, under my own authority. Ah, the deceiver shows her face. Behold, my children. Look how pathetic, how easily crushed by your collective might. The very ground you stand on responds to my will. Can Palladius do this? What kind of power is this? The world is ending! Don't be fooled! It's a trick! Attack the Deceiver! Attack! My lord, what happened? How did you... We never met anybody who could do what you did. Not Lord Palladius, not anybody. If you wish to serve me, go to the Strel House. My servants will see that you are brought into the fold. The Strel House? A good place. That Dagon Strel was a good man. But before you send us away, share your wisdom and strength with us, so we can serve you. 
There is only passion. Through passion, strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. It's the same line Palladius fed us. I'm sick of these Sith games. Shut your mouth. The Sith speaks the truth. Besides, this one does what she says. She cured the rot. You're right. My lord, we will do as you say. We will forgive and tell others to do the same. Sith, will you look at this place? Dagon Strel himself couldn't generate this kind of crowd, and neither can Palladius anymore from the looks of it. I really am the best. I'm guessing the Groundquake was a big help. M my lord. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. They said they'd kill me. They said they'd kill me if I didn't. Who said they'd kill you? P P Palladius' men. They said they'd kill me if I didn't bring you this. It looks like a hollow device. Let me see here. Ah, Sif. Good evening. How good to talk to you again. I'm sorry to use such an unconventional method to contact you, but I had to be sure you got the message. You understand? You have my attention. For now. Wonderful. You see, I've had a bit of a revelation. When you first attacked my cult, I took it very personally. And then I realized, you're Zash's apprentice. All this trouble is just about some silly artifact. Let's let bygones be bygones, hmm? We can meet at my place, in network access. We'll chat. I'll give you the artifact, and all will be mended. Are you trying to make me laugh? I assure you, Sith, I have no sense of humor. I promise. No tricks, or may I die creditless on Tatooine scrubbing a Jedi's back. Take time to consider my offer, but not too long, or my good mood may sour. And bring your friends. Lying son of a hot. You're not seriously considering it, are you? Jandam Jai Hai Hayat E Prauja Afleta Farte Ja Fragic Wahis. I'm going, Destris, and you're coming with me. You can get yourself killed if you want, but I didn't keep out of Palladius' reach this long just to walk into his grip. No, don't you see? Sure, it's probably a trap, yes, but this is our chance to strike at him. Fine, but I'm going in with both eyes open. Sith! D Destron, Rachel! I'm so glad you've come. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? And don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. You know exactly what you can offer me. So confident. So amazingly confident. But I dare say you've gravely underestimated me. That painful twisting you feel in your gut is your essence draining rather rapidly. And that hollow sinking feeling, your connection to the Force being severed. Soon, you will be no more powerful than little... Denton here, or Ramona. For that, you will suffer. <laughs> Not so powerful anymore, are we? <laughs> Greater Sith than you have fallen before me. Did you think you were the first to try and steal my cult? I could choke the life out of you right now, but since you seem so very eager, let's settle this with lightsabers. What? What? How, how is this possible? You're stronger than any I've faced. Oh, forgive me, my... my lord. Take the artifact. Just let me live and carry on the cult in your name. I hate to break it to you, Palladius, but Darth Sash promised the cult to us. You're done. You're, you're very trusting, Destris. 
But surely my lord sees the advantage of leaving the cult in my hands. Think of what I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? He is Sith, and far more worthy than you lot. He's also lying scum who'll stab you in the back the first chance he gets. We had a deal. Ha <laughs> ha. Those weaklings would run the cult into the ground within a year. But simply hand control of the cult over to me, and I will be at your beck and call. If you so much as think a thought contrary to my will, I will rip you open. Thank you, my lord. Rest assured that all my thoughts are now your own. Myself and the cult will assist you whenever you need. You can't do this. We had Darth Sash's word. I was not consulted in that deal. My lord, but... but... How wonderful to have you back under my command, Destress Riley. Call on me, and your cult will be waiting. I managed to obtain the artifact from Lord Palladius. And you gained your own cult in the process, or so I hear. You are quickly becoming quite the cunning Sith. Zash would never hurt me. You are naive. I have seen Zash making her preparations. She's taken two new apprentices, a boy named Carl and a girl named Corin. She's been sending them into the Dark Temple, presumably to confirm that I am gone. Zash has other apprentices. Yes. I assume they are meant to replace you. I considered killing these intruders, but I heard them speak of Zash and her desire that the chamber be secure for her work. Soon enough, Zash herself appeared. She comes every day now, studying the place and performing rituals. You are in danger. What kind of rituals? Minor ones. Preparations for something bigger. Zash knows your weaknesses. You must prepare yourself. An enterprising Sith Lord on Korriban has uncovered a piece of my old armor, my mask. It will protect you against Zash's onslaught. The Sith Lord's compound overlooks the tombs. Go. Claim it. Guard yourself against Zash's attack. I am most grateful. I cannot guarantee when I will be able to speak with you. As I said, it is difficult for me to visit you. But I will continue to watch over my chamber in the temple, conserving my energy for when I learn something more. I thought 
the Sith were above petty burglary. I wonder what your master would think if she knew you were breaking and entering. Or did she, by chance, send you on this little errand? This is my own doing. So I thought. Your master and I hardly see eye to eye, but this isn't in style. Too much risk of getting caught, too little reward. Has all the marks of an apprentice. When Darth Thanaton learns of this, you will be punished. What if I told you that I believe Zash intends to betray me, and that I need your mask to defeat her? Already planning to kill your master? Much as I'd like to see her dead, I don't think you'll be the one. I've killed more powerful Sith than her. I assume you're referring to Darth Skrtia. Trickery. Of Zash's devising, no doubt. I don't think she'll be so forthcoming about her own weaknesses. But, just for my own amusements, let's see these skills of yours. Saran! Vasek! Give Zash's apprentice a proper test! You're not all chalk after all! Darth Zash should be very proud, and very afraid. The mask is just an old trinket. But if you really think it'll help you defeat her, take it. I am most grateful. Good luck defeating your master.